Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceful Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this reading is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. So please do take whatever resonates with you and just leave the rest aside. If however you do have any questions and um, you would like to um, maybe inquire about having a reading, please do contact me for more information at romancefultarot at gmail.com. In the meanwhile, if um, you're new to the channel or if you've been here before and you have not yet subscribed, please do take a brief moment to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it would be mostly appreciated. So I'm using Alice in Wonderland Tarot and I'm also using Steampunk. So let's begin with Alice in Wonderland. I have the Ten of Cups, I have the Page of uh, Pentacles, I have the Three of Wands, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, I have the Justice, I have the Devil, and you know, I really don't like getting the Devil. Um, I have a telephone, I have a candle, I have a boot, you're going to be booting, I have a letter, I have bridges, and I have a cannon. This is a fiery situation, let me just say. So, did they cheat? Yes. I have no doubt whatsoever. There's no white, there's no gray, there's no nothing. They cheated, okay? Why? You've got the devil. The devil is, you know, not a very nice person, not a very nice card to get neither. When we're talking about the devil, um, this is really about somebody who's very manipulative, somebody who... Um, who plays around a lot, who puts masks, who lies. It's somebody who's very manipulative. It's a very, it's somebody who's very agreeable to be around. It's very fun. It's very entertaining to be around this person. At a party, absolutely fantastic. Um, people like to gather around. Um, this is the type of person that you don't really, you don't even realize. It's like if you're watching a magician show. So, you know, they're doing things and they're talking and, you know, and they bring you into a certain situation and, and that you don't even realize that you've entered it and you're stuck into it like a magician. This is the devil. So the devil brings you into situations without you knowing and you're stuck into it until the moment, you know, where there you go, you find out, oh, what happened? How did I get here? And how do I get out of here? You're stuck. You're stuck. You're with your you're stuck with fear, you're stuck with anxiousness, you just don't know what to do, you don't know where to believe, you don't know, you know, what to believe, um, because they are very convincing people, because they're the devil. So, beware, be very aware of whatever your partner is going to say that has to do with your relationship and, um, and cheating. That being said, I do have over here uh, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is trying to depict that at home. This is not a very nice situation. It's not going well. I feel as though it's um, there's a lot of sadness. There's a lot of conflict. Uh, it's just not going in harmony. This is somewhat, I would say, of a toxic home relationship. Um, so a lot of sadness, a lot of accusations, not really any proof. So nothing. It doesn't go any further. Um... I do have to say that they do love you because, you know, they still are with you. They would not, you know, put up with this if they did not. Um, I feel as though for them, the boat has sailed. It is gone. It is finished. They're not going to talk about it again. For them, it has been done and that is it. Um, you know, and for you, I really feel like you on the other side, I feel like you actually know that this has happened. You really, really do, but you don't want to see it because you tell yourself, maybe even you're able to go and get the proofs that are really not too far, but you don't want to access it because of fear, because of anxiety, because you don't want to face that problem. Because if you do face it, then what are you going to do? What are you going to have to do? Are you going to have to leave? What is going to happen? So you don't want to face what is going to happen when you do find that truth um, and so you're kind of staying a little bit hidden here and you might even be doing this subconsciously it might not even be something that you know just comes naturally um, and for them as I said I feel as though this boat has sh you know the ship has gone it has sailed it is that that is it and you know um, money wise they're okay not too bad I do have to say though that you know they are uh, very immature and this is why they um, they went off and they did this. Um, I know that there were some kind of attempts of trying to mm, pick some kind of some kind of resolutions before the actual cheating happened. Uh, you're working maybe on your relationship on different little phases, um, but still always a little bit in discord, not really ever quite happy. Um, and so I feel as though there's no justice that's going to be brought here, none whatsoever. So, you know, I don't know what it is that you want to do whenever you do find out if you're just going to leave or if you're just going 
going to stay and say, okay, let's turn the page. That is completely up to you, but I feel as though you are not going to get any justice out of this relationship, out of this um, conclusion. As for the, um, as for over here, the steampunk, well, our steampunk over here, we're going to start with the telephone. The telephone is all about bad discussions because, you know, what do we do on a telephone? We discuss. So this is all about communications. It's bad discussions. It's um, It could also be uh, some gossip that is surrounding you, surrounding your couple right now. And it's somewhat a little bit, little bit of a scandal that's going to be coming. So maybe that's why, maybe that's how you're going to actually get that news that's going to be coming. Maybe you're going to get it like that by gossip. Um, because they're not the one who's, who are ever going to tell you. For them, they have turned the page. It is over and finished with and not worth discussing anymore. Now, if we uh, talk about the candle over here, the candle in itself is watch what you squander as you may require it. The burning candle at the both ends. So is this what you're doing right now? Are you so worried, so anxious, so afraid um, to face whatever is happening and to not know the future of your relationship that you're burning both ends at the same time? Be, be aware, be careful, okay? You don't want anything to happen to your health. Um, you have to stay healthy to, you know, get through this and just for yourself because you do love yourself and you do care about yourself, I am sure about it. Um, if we move over to the boat, the boot, you're going to be at some point booting this uh, man or this woman out, okay, of the picture. You're not going to keep this. You're not going to keep on going like this um, because, you know, you've had enough and that's it. You've had too much anxiety. It's starting to affect your health. You can't take it anymore. So at some point, I'm not saying when, but at some point, this relationship is going to end. Um, I feel as though, as I said, with the... Um, I said that with a telephone, there's going to be some gossip letter saying pretty much the same thing. You're going to be having some news, some news that's going to be arriving to you um, about a certain situation. So this would be the situation in um, in perspective here. So we're going to move over to the um, to the bridge card here, and the bridge is all about. Here we go. Let's put it right over there. So this is, um, you need to take a very close look. It's a very transitional period. It's trying to overcome a problem. And you know what? Your path is prepared. You can go in faith. No matter what really it is that you decide, your journey is ready for you. It is already pre-planned anyway. So it already knows where you're going. So, uh, you know, whenever you're ready, just go and make that move to where you're going to go. The cannon, what does cannons do? They blow up these, uh, they shoot out these balls, right? Well, this is all about a very big argument. It's a very big dispute. It's overreaction. It's conflict. It's going off without thinking about the consequences. A very high temper, volatile, and it has to do with um, a moment that happened into the past. So the uh, relationship that didn't last all that long, uh, that was a third party. So that being said, this does end of the reading. Um, I hope I was able to clarify some things for you. If you do need um, a reading, may it be an emergency reading, which you get within, you know, within the day, or an ordinary reading, please do contact me at romancefultarot at gmail.com. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned for following readings and have yourself a blessed weekend. Thank you for being there and I'll see you soon.